Now let's learn how to calibrate a pair of stereo cameras. Here's my physical setup. Please note the position of the left and right designated cameras. I'm using the modified VI, which is available from the Vision Essentials Guide download package. This modified version works properly with the physical setup that I just showed you. Now you want all the dots in your dot grid target to be visible to both cameras in this initial view. Feel free to pause the video to study these instructions for producing a 20 by 15 grid. Once you have properly positioned the grid, click Calibrate Stereo System. This is a 1 cm by 1 cm dot target, and there are 20 dots in the x direction and 15 dots in the y direction. You'll start with the grid flat. Note the little timer, you can get a sense of when it's going to actually capture the image. Lift up the left side of the board about two inches. That's your second view. Lift up the right side of the board about two inches. That's your third view. Lift up the bottom side of the board the same amount. And finally, for the fifth view, you lift up the top side of the board again by about two inches. The VI automatically determines whether or not additional images are necessary. In this case, five was sufficient. Make sure that the green dot is properly located in the upper left corner, and then you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the calibration quality metric. Ideally, this would be 1.00, and in this case, 97 percent is very good. I'm going to save my calibration file and I'll use some notation here to say a baseline of six centimeters, a depth of 24 centimeters, and I'm using 640 by 480 resolution on the cameras. You can look at the original acquired images and then the rectified images show you how the images have been calibrated. In particular, if you overlay the horizontal lines, you'll now see that the dots perfectly align along the pixel rows, and they do this in both images. So these rectified images now are ready to serve as the basis for the depth calculation.